Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of First Person on PressProsMagazine.com, sponsored, as always, by the Precision Strip Company in Minster. I talk about this, I couldn't say it more meaningfully than this. If you want to start a career, change one, or finish one, they're always looking for good people. They are good people, and they're looking for people just like them. So check them out online, give them a call, let them know you appreciate their support of what we do at Press Pros, specifically on First Person. We uh, are talking volleyball this week, and uh, the lady to my right here is very well known in the area of volleyball because Diana Kramer is the head coach of the reigning Division IV state champion New Bremen Cardinals. They have won three titles in five years, finished runner-up a couple of times, and the subject this week is, uh, Diana, why suddenly uh, everybody is talking about volleyball. Now, I want to preface you talking about this this way. When I saw you play Coldwater last week, I was so impressed by what you and Nikki Etzler both said about the game of volleyball, the kids who play, why they're excited, and why people should be excited. So I thought you did a particularly good job. You're kind of like me. The more you talk, you the more excited you get, and uh, certainly the more relevant you, you know, the, the topic becomes because you've lived it, and now you're coaching it, and you're passing that on to the next generation. Right. That match last week was unbelievable. And I think I summed it up with the word wow. Yes. And when people, you know, the next day were talking about it, it was it was a shame that somebody had to lose. Um, but the level of play that the girls exhibited, uh, the community support was unbelievable. The momentum swings, it was like, I think I said it was watching, it was like watching a drama movie. And you just never knew. There was never a time when any team got comfortable. There was never a time where you knew what was going to happen because it's unpredictable. There was points being scored back and forth. It was kind of like being on a roller coaster. And at the end of two hours, at the end of the match, you sat down and you were like, whew, what just happened there? You know, you saw some incredible athletes. Um, I have so much respect for Nikki. Each of us have um, a boys volleyball player on our bench and that sport is also growing. Um, the enthusiasm from the team, from the, from the crowd, from anybody that watched that game, um, or the game of volleyball in general, it was just unbelievable. For years now, when I travel to other parts of the state, people ask the question, how does Marion Local do it in football? What are they doing there? What have they got going there? Why are, they never have a down year. They never, have, the cycle never impacts them. Now, to a lesser degree, proportionally, people are saying, hey, tell us about New Bremen in the MAC and tell us about their volleyball. What's she doing there? Because sports and winning and competition is hard work. You know that, you grew up in it. How are you getting kids to buy into hard work and patience and commitment and support of each other the way you do? Because that's the genesis of a winning program. Um, I think it all comes down to relationships and the relationships that you create with your coaching staff, with your players, with the community, it's all really, really important. And those relationships allow you to be so honest with them because everybody wants to play. Um, and unfortunately, not everybody gets their picture in Press Pros Magazine. Not everybody gets the coach to talk about them, but every single person matters. And the relationships that you build with between the coach and player, between player and player, you know, when you watch a team play, those things can become evident. So the relationships are 100% key and just being honest and loving each other, that is really, really important. And when you have those relationships and you trust each other, you can be coached hard, you can compete at a high level, you play without fear and you go get it. And, you know, you just compete every single day and you know that the people that you're competing with, they love you. And, Volleyball, unlike any other sport, after every single point, you know, sometimes this can drive people crazy, but they come together on the court, they physically touch each other, they huddle up, they break back apart. And in volleyball, points being scored every five seconds, on average, 5.54 seconds. And in between a rally, it's 11 to 16 seconds. So three points are being scored. Unlike any other sport, again, every single play is a point. A mistake by the other team is a point. You earn a point every single time um, the ball hits the floor. Diana Kramer from New Bremen is our guest this week on First Person. Answer me this. How many people in, in their summer camps, and everybody goes through the motion of having a summer camp, has got a gym full of fifth and sixth grade girls. 
across the state. I know you do because every year you text me a picture. Here's all the kids that we have that came out for camp. That's so important when you get fifth and sixth grade interest and you develop that. I mean, on Sundays we're playing in the Rushi fifth and sixth grade league. I think in this area, so many coaches do that. Um, and the sport is growing like crazy. You can see the little girls, not just from New Bremen, but everywhere. They want to grow up, and their idols are these high school volleyball players, high school athletes in general. And that's what I love about high school sports. I love the, the, the relationship, the connection that they see. You know, in New Bremen, it's a K through 12 um, school district, and we're all on the same campus. So the kindergartners sometimes see those high schoolers. and. The third graders get to work and intermingle and have recess sometimes with their senior sports athletes. So just build, building those relationships, those connections is really, really cool. And you can actually reach out and touch Paige Jones. 100%. Or Macy yes. Putoff. Yep. Or our girls and the, yep. who have played for you. Somebody said to me recently that volleyball is going to be the new football because of the amount of attention to gender equity or gender equality, particularly where it comes to relevant competition. And we just saw that in the Big Ten when 92,000 people showed up to watch uh, the University of Nebraska play in the football stadium. And it wasn't just because it was high V night right. and they got free tickets. Right. I mean, all eyeballs were on the University of Nebraska They're at the football stadium. Mm -hmm. um, the pictures are incredible. And to, to to think about where, how the sport has changed and grown and to see all those fans come out and watch that game, it was unbelievable. And one of my favorite stories from that night, we played Versailles the next night and my pregame speech was, you know, girls, what, what was one thing that the AD said post game? What was his favorite story? And I was, I was testing them to see how well they knew me. And they're like, possible, impossible, possible. And I go, yes, girls. I said, one of my favorite things is when Nebraska had this idea they talked about how they thought something was going to be impossible. This was probably going to be impossible, but this is our crazy idea. We want to make this happen. So they said, we're going to try to make the impossible possible. And for them to like come up with this plan and then actually have the plan work out, it was great. And my pregame speech was, you know, in the game of volleyball, you don't know if it's possible or impossible to get to a ball unless you make an effort. And of course, we want to win every single time we're playing, but what I want to see every single point is maximum effort. You don't know if it's possible to get that ball unless you go try to get it. So don't decide that it's impossible. Let the play dictate itself. And sometimes you can't make that play, but sometimes impossible plays turn into possible plays. And those are the things that make this sport so fun because a, a rally saving dig or um, a great save or just a thunderous kill, uh, a really fast serve, a, a straight down block, like those things that you don't think is possible in this moment actually become possible. Well, and that's we were, really cool. And we were talking about opportunities a moment ago, and I know this you had this moment when you got to Duquesne University, Division I volleyball in Pittsburgh, and suddenly you look out there and realize this is possible. Right. I had that moment myself in baseball. You, had, it, it, right. you, don't, you can't do that until you're actually there. 100%. I mean, I love, I love volleyball. My, my first love was always basketball. I still love basketball. Um, I actually coach youth basketball, fourth and fifth graders. Um, but I thought I was going to play basketball in college. And then <clears throat> the tides kind of turned and I ended up playing volleyball. And there was a moment in college that completely changed my life. Um, coach Opperman, who's a resident of New Bremen and now li lives and coaches at Duquesne, um, I went to Duquesne thinking I wasn't good enough and I was just going to give it my all and play. I ended up being a starter my freshman year and coach <laughs> said set D the first point and I get set the ball and I hit the ball out of bounds and I was a mess. I was like, coach, please take me out. I'm, this isn't the right job. And he said, hey, set her again. And volleyball allows that kind of thing to happen and I rebounded, got my first collegiate kill. And I remember going back to my dorm room that night thinking if everybody else can believe in me, I got to believe in myself. Yeah, and that's something true. that this sport has taught me, has taught so many people that I've coached, that I've watched play, that confidence is a huge thing and being able to handle adversity and make a mistake and bouncing back. And it's just such a great life lesson. And those things happen back to back. Um, and it's just, it makes for such a fun atmosphere um, 
and provide so many opportunities for so many people. Now you know why I wanted to talk with Diana Kramer this week about volleyball. I don't know if it's the new uh, football on Friday nights yet, but it's coming to a gym near you if it's not there already. Thank you for uh, as much as you've taught us about the, the sport, for sharing your enthusiasm, and uh, quite frankly, your program for the example it sets for all those young girls around uh, the area and around the state of Ohio who says, I can, I can do that too. Thank you. And just go too. out and go watch your high school team play volleyball. That's go what Nick, watch your. That's what Nikki said. Go watch the local college team play, whether it's the Division One team, the Division Three team. They all put in the same time and effort. And volleyball is a lot like a lot like March Madness. You know, I just saw BG beat Michigan. I just watched UD almost knock off the number two team in the country, Louisville. Like, there's such great volleyball in this area. These coaches put in so much time and effort. These players work so hard. Um, and they deserve to be watched by their, That's what their community. Said. That's what Nikki Etzler said last week. They deserve your attention. That wraps up this edition of First Person with Diana Kramer. Again, sponsored by the Precision Strip Company in Minster, Ohio. Start your career, change one or finish one on top at Precision Strip in Minster. Thank you all for your uh, support and your attention for everything we do on a weekly basis at PressProsMagazine.com. We'll see you again next time with another edition of First Person. Thank you.